And a very good morning to you, just some on 7.46 and a half here on Manx Radio TT. Welcome back to, or welcome to, the grandstand on a, hmm, a dampish sort of morning. We do have a details of an hour delay as well. Beth Espy, good morning. Good morning, how right? are you? Do you see how good I was this morning? Okay, everybody, I had his caffeine ready for him and look how perky he is now. I'm perky because I've actually had a decent night's sleep for oh, the first good. time since about February, to be honest with you. Oh, well, that's good. That's I, good. I, I'll have to tell you the reason why later on, possibly. Ooh, I'm but not sure I want to know. <laughs> no, you don't. Anyway, good morning to you. Uh, the PA at the Grandstand's on, so apologies if we're waking you up. Ha ha, good morning. you got to be up anyway. Come on, we're going, we're going. But we've got an hour delay. When was that announced this morning, first thing, was it? That was just announced just after half seven. So okay. the clerk of the course, Gary Thompson, confirmed there would be a one hour delay to today's schedule. And that's because of the mist on the mountain yeah. and of wet roads. It was raining pretty heavily overnight. Conditions are expected to improve, though. We will have the full uh, details from the Met Office just after quarter to nine this morning. So a revised schedule is going to be sent out around 8.30 today, but roads will open at 5 p.m. this evening. Yes, yeah, so because it's a working day here on the Isle of Man. So our chat show guests this morning coming up after 8 o'clock are the two newcomers with us from yesterday, Tommy Maxwell and their Welshman Michael Rees. That will be very entertaining with Michael, both of them good, good fun. Uh, together with our Colombian newcomer Daniel Fernandez, uh, Anne from the race officer sorting these out for us. So well, thank you, Anne, and all the girls. And he's here already. Michael Rees is here already. Incredible. We've also got, hopefully, going to get Veronica Hankosi on as well. You, you, you're glad to kind of uh, to have here Veronica, aren't you? She, yeah, she's and I'm really character. looking forward to talking to her. She'd um, be a nice guest for women today. Yeah, we should get her on the on show. On the dark side. I just need to say as also yeah. thank you to Neil, who gave me a pen this morning, because um, I left my pen here thinking it would be safe. It wasn't, um, yeah. so I had to yeah, go and accost I, someone for a pen. I, 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 you I took that, it. did you? Yeah, yeah, I nicked it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lying out there somewhere <sighs> now because I lost it as well. Okay. Never mind. Uh, right. Reverend Canon Sir Michael John Caldwell, yeah. really Jim's his name. Yeah, Good morning, yeah. John. Morning. All right, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Quarterbridge yesterday. Yes. All right, busy yeah. wise people? Yeah, ish. Good is crowd. it a good place to get photos? Because obviously it is always yeah, so, so move, busy. Yeah, you can move around a bit. Can you yeah, because you stand on the grass verge and you go across by the tree, by mm. the little cottage and stuff like that. Do you like go that. across the road and point them back up the hill or past the bishop's house? No. Nah. Is the bishop still in? No, 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 that was the old bishop's the house. The old bishop's yeah, yeah, house. Yeah, he's moved okay. since. Okay, where's that's he moved? two bishops ago. Well, that's when, that's, because you'll yeah, be yeah, moving yeah. there soon, aren't you, when you get promoted? Ah, <laughs> right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fat chance, I think, is the words there. <laughs> Bit disappointed you're not in your cassock this morning. I did think about it. Friday. Okay. Friday. We'll do it. Show in the cassock. No, no, to I, no. Alex? Tomorrow, tomorrow. As soon as it's not a race day, tomorrow will be far simpler. Oh, okay. All so, oh, so right. Okay. Yeah, if you want yeah. to do that? That's cool I'll by d- me. On the scooter. So do you go on the inside and look up? Have you ever took pictures of them coming over the rise? Or is it too dark under them dead trees? No, no. You need to go a little bit further up, just off the Alexander Drive. There, there's a good where that little railing is at the bottom. Mm. That's a that's a good old. Have shot. you ever gone under the bridge? You go to the Courtbridge pub and you go yeah, under you go the, bridge the bridge and, and, and the out bridge. the other so side. Those who don't know, you can do that. I'm sure you can still. There's loads of there are loads of places around the course where you can do that. You can get from one side to the other the drainage tunnels and the little bridges please be careful if you do decide to do that and uh, we don't obviously well after after a dry summer most of the things have dried up however (laughs) after the recent rain do be careful yeah do be careful (laughs) health and safety notice is it not prohibited on the inside there at Corbridge now no okay all right okay Um, lots of messages already Mm. we are Facebook living this morning lots of ways um, to listen you can go to iomtt.com you can use the Max Radio smartphone app Uh, we are also on FM 87.9 in Douglas and Ramsey 100.6 in the northwest of the island and island wide at uh, 1368 uh, but Ian on Facebook says take your coat off Rev you won't feel a benefit as we say in Yorkshire I know I know <laughs> yeah, see, I know, that I just, was just look, I'm still in a blanket I'm still in my duvet actually, well, so. actually it, 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 it is actually a little bit warmer in here this morning than what it has it been is. the last couple of mornings but I've seen Carol with the weather this morning on BBC and she says it's going to be cold frost coming in tonight up in no. Scotland yeah 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 it's going to be down to about two degrees in the glens yeah but then so. I've got friends in Bristol just posted a weather forecast that says the next three months into November is going to be warm again Oh, they haven't got a clue. Or is it? Sorry, I'm just going to say it. And I do apologise for not having my Manx Radio coat on this morning because I'll probably be too hot. I have got T-shirts before anybody whinges and moans. Why are you wearing one behind there anyway, Alex? Anyway? Company branding. Company branding, good man. Yeah. John's wearing company branding as well. He's sponsored by Montan. Yeah. Whatever make that is for skiing and things like that. Anyway, yeah. so yeah. So John, just a quick couple of thoughts on the races yesterday. We're going to be looking back at them in a bit of detail in a bit. I think it was brilliant yesterday. Everybody obviously listened to my discussion yesterday morning on Max Radio TT mm. um, and behaved themselves mm. impeccably. Mm. With and I, 
people are so quick to knock when something goes wrong in road racing and when there's an incident. Yesterday it went off without a hitch. They all behaved themselves and it was some cracking racing. I, I mean, how many times did the lead change? Oh, it's, you know, it was You wondered which dramatic. way you were going Especially newcomers B, yeah. Yeah, 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 that yeah, one, yeah. Which we speak to the um, boys later on. And it, just had, it had everything yesterday, didn't it? I yeah. just want to say also, um, Chris Cave doing his commentary yeah, of them, Ramsey, Ramsey, absolutely yeah. brilliant. He didn't say certainly once. <laughs> no, but I think people Mor morning Roy it, it, you yeah. know people underestimate just how difficult that is doing the commentary mm. especially in, in a mm. combined race like that so uh, well, I remember John McGuinness stepping in with mm. next to Roy didn't it and it was yeah. like and Roy said you've got to speak yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you can't, can't just sit there and go mm -hmm. and wait like you would when you're watching. You're like, all oh, right, there you go. Yeah, yeah it's, it, you it just, is, you've got to it, keep. You've got it, to keep going. It's quite a difficult job to do. And I, I said it to Chris Palm when it, when he got involved in doing the commentary job with me. I said, tell you what to do. At that time, he was driving the trucks for Elevan and Fuels. He was, yeah. And I said to him, right when you're on your way home, I says, get your phone and your, and your little holder that you have in your, in, in your car. I says, and just point it to yourself and record yourself going along. Just describe what you're seeing while you're driving along. But don't just say, oh, look, there's a blue car and there's a green car. You know, there's a green car with three people inside wearing seatbelts. Oh, they should be wearing seatbelts. Oh, they've got coffee as well. But then they've got sunglasses on because it's quite a bright day. So you've got to paint that sort of picture. Yeah. So, and, and, and he did that. And he listened back to you and he was like, oh, oh, yeah, see what you mean. So you've got to just try and fill up a call. And Chris did very well. He normally, oh, does, normally does the stock cars up there at uh, Onken Raceway too. Yes. So I believe they were quite busy again on uh, Monday night for the uh, the bangers sort of state. And the, what, what was the other one? It was the... Uh, the the mini stocks or something like that it was the, the dagger of truth or something like that. It it's great, really, really it's like It's like wrestling, worldwide wrestling in cars. It? Oh, isn't it? yeah, <laughs> double, double, yeah. We were talking about wrestling. Shirley Crabtree's back again. Oh, yeah. Big yeah. daddy, yeah. Big daddy, yeah. Okay, yeah. so t obviously today is a race day once again. The sun just started to come out here at the uh, the TT Grand Centre. So where are you going today, Johnny boy? I don't know yet. I'm oh. quite made my mind up. With an hour's delay, I'm going to go and ponder, I think. And shall we, as a group here in the studio, including Ed, our engineer, shall we think about where you're going to go and before you leave us at just at eight o'clock should we tell you where you're going today yeah all right then <laughs> you'd like to tell me where to go <laughs> anyway <laughs> wouldn't you <laughs> quite a, there's quite you can't a few say that to a reverend you can't. I can yeah, of say you whatever can. i want to him it's all right we, we've known each other for a long time we've camped together we have okay. we've done a we lot have, of things we, together we, we have done a lot of things we've together, laughed together we've cried together we've we done have all sorts actually, of things yeah, together we, we, so. we have actually you're right yeah. and uh yeah, I'm looking forward to the race here, the junior, the junior race, which comes up today. You got a lot of uh, fr friends in the junior race, like young Brad Vickers, lads from Yorkshire, and that that you, you know quite well. Yeah, it's uh, it just, I mean, Wibbly's out again, isn't he? Doing well. Yeah, Roger pizza, Wibbly, pizza, Wobbly. pizza delivery man. He's, That's uh, it. Yeah, I mean, there's all the in jokes isn't there, with these guys, but he, th 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 let's just hope they have another safe day. Mm -hmm. Let's let, let's keep it clean and uh, and good. Of course, two but races yeah. today. Uh, junior races on first. Then, of course, we've got the lightweight and the ultra lightweight, which, again, the lightweight over four laps and the ultra lightweight over three laps. Interesting. How are they going to work that out? I've no idea. Uh, we'll come in and then call a result, and then the others will still be out there, won't they? Yeah. Something just like go through it. it it's going to be it's going to be exciting for you you're going to be on your toes today I'm always on my toes mate it's too hard I've got to worry yeah. about his face the other day when they said that in the 350 class of race when they said yeah we're not going to come with a fuel team so I might as well go home then I just I'll tell you I was watching you know the uh, uh, diving in the European Championships and things and these these guys have got like the Olympic rings tattooed oh like Tom whatever. Daly and people yeah like yeah, yeah you yeah. know there's, there's one guy instead of having you'd sort of think you know you'd have the Olympic rings up here on your chest or whatever I'm not into tattoos by the way no no no, big no, way, no, but no. and one guy got it sort of like tattooed on his ribs. I understand it's really painful to have it tattooed on your ribs, but I wonder if any of these guys will be having like Manx Grand Prix winner. Oh, tattooed. you would. I mean, you would. You're going yeah, to get a bit of ink because yeah. there's there's quite an ink culture around a paddock, isn't there? Yeah, so. I'm not into all that as well. We've got a few friends who are, you know, like yeah, Dale, yeah, yeah. Dale, like Dale, big yeah, Dale Fordham, yeah, yeah. and that. It's like it's like a walking ink shop. It is. It is, but yeah, yeah. people like them. Have you got any tattoos, Elizabeth? I have one. Okay, all right. You, yeah, did you see that? Do you see the end of that conversation? No, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Alex, have you got any? No, sorry. Yeah, I haven't. No. Okay, Ed, have you got any? No, no. Oh, we're, t we're pretty tattooed. Hey, you set a book in the trend. You? You're tat. Hey, eh? down, down with the kids. Sorry. John, a quick message for today. Sorry, just before you do that, Beth. Sorry. I just want to say, um, Amelia and Caleb are watching you. Are they? Oh, Fantastic. Yeah, they are. Good morning, Caleb. Good, Good morning. morning. Good Grandchildren. Yeah, yeah. Caleb, Good. isn't that something to do with the Bible, Caleb? Yes, yeah. All right. <laughs> and, and what about Amelia? Amelia. That's yeah. my mother's middle name, actually. Is yeah, it? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah, it is, yeah. Well, these old and names, these old names keep coming back around, don't they? And my eldest daughter's middle name is uh, Kaylee Amelia. Excellent. There you go. But Kayla, which which part of the Bible is that from? On the spot. Old Testament. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, I tell you what. It's not hard, no, is it? It's not hard, is it? I think it? I would have known that. 50% chance <laughs> of getting it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> There's the bishop done down the pan again. Anyway, yeah, so yeah. A, a bit of a message, John. We've got about a, a minute or so just to go before we have to get back to uh, 8 o'clock. Just be patient with the delays. Enjoy, enjoy today. Go out there. Go and watch it. Mm. Um, these guys have done a, a lot of hard work to get here today. Mm. Um, and I, I think it's a big shout out to people like Barry Wood, Jim Hunter, all the people that have sponsored mm. them, done all this. Got these all these people up and running. Uh, over the years, like the hail, like the hail there weekend when they yeah, all come over to you. Yeah, they, I mean, the, there's an awful, there's a, there's an awful lot of work gets to people on the on the start line today, mm. um, and uh, it's sometimes we need to recognise the, mm. the people. And it's not just, and it's not just them getting the bike in the back of a van. There's lots of background work has to go in, doesn't it? You know, there's mm. so much groundwork uh, to be done with miles around the country. Well, you to think get about, licenses. I mean, you think about Veronica. I mean, if you follow Veronica on Facebook, or when she comes in, you can talk to her about all this. But the trials and tribulations she's had to get to here, um, you know, they've had spills, they've d- d- um, no bike at the start of the year, no bike like mm. three months ago, and all of a sudden, you know, somebody comes out and helps them, and um, and then somebody's part of that that sort yeah. of history making, if mm. you like. Good. And, uh, all right. Right. So okay. Where, where are we I sending them, Ed? Where do you, where, where's your recommendation? Quick. Uh, Solby. Solby. Okay. Beth. Um. Uh, Solby. I don't Alex. know. Alex. Okay. okay, Jerby Junk. <laughs> I'll need a long lens from there, <laughs> won't I? Is it still open? Yeah, yeah, it's still, still there. Right. I reckon you should go to, let's have a look, I think you should go Don't to forget. the Conquer Trees. Conquer Trees, all right. K-Tree. Right, I better get going then. Okay. Off you go Off then, you go. John. Yeah. Thank you very much to the Reverend Kelly. John Caldwell. Cheers. Back in a couple of moments' time with the weather and, of course, our guest for this morning, Beth R.